Okay, step nine, let's start talking about materials. So we're gonna start at the very beginning with materials, and for that reason, we're gonna be spending quite a few steps looking at materials and building up before we get on to actually texturing the landscape for real. So the first thing we'll talk about is what materials actually are. In Unreal Engine, materials are assets which are applied to meshes to control how they look. So this might be through specifying properties such as color, roughness, opacity, or how metallic the mesh should be. Materials are constructed through visual scripting using a network of nodes called material expressions. These material expressions include mathematical operations and textures, so like digital images, and materials are built using the material editor, which we'll take a look at in more detail in the next step. Okay, so before we go on to actually making this first material, we're going to do a little bit of organisational work in the content browser just to make sure that we're happy with where things are going to go. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top level, so content, and you can see we've still got these first five folders, so the one that we've created I believe is maps, and we're going to add two more. And we'll do that in two different ways just to mix things up a little bit. So what we'll do first of all is we'll right click, and from this menu that pops up, we're going to choose new folder. Lovely. And we're going to call this folder materials like that. Did I spell that right? I did. Good spelling, Shane. Okay. And then we're going to create another folder, but this time I'm going to go on add new and choose a folder from here just to mix things up. And this one's going to be called textures. And I think I've spelled that right as well. Okay, we won't actually be using the textures folder for quite a few steps, but we will certainly be using the materials folder. So let's move forward. Okay, so what we'll do now is open the materials folder since that's where we're going to put our new material. So to create a material, what we'll do is right click anywhere in this area in the content browser. And this will bring up the context menu that's saying, what would you like to make here? And we're going to say material, which is this green icon here uh, with the yeah, weird gray dotty icon. I don't know, it means material. So we'll click on that, boo. And straight away you can see this is created and it wants us to give it a name. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it M underscore is the first part. And this is important, this is a naming convention that's really popular uh, in, certainly in Unreal, but I would imagine in a lot of game engines. And the M underscore denotes that this is a material. And then after that, we're gonna write landscape practice. I think S is right. Oh, I always struggle. Is it C or S? I'm going to go with S. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. Um, I really hope I'm right and that it's an S, not a C. Anyway, landscape practice. The reason we're calling it landscape practice is because this is a material we'll use to get to grips with how the material editor works. Once we've gone through everything using this one, we'll create the actual landscape material, which will be quite a lot more complex than what we'll do with this one. The last thing I want to do is to get the material editor open. And to do that, we're just going to double click on this uh, landscape practice material. So double click on that and it opens this window. I don't know why it's tiny for me. There it is. So this is the um, material editor. And what I'm going to do just ahead of the next step is I'm going to drag this tab here and I'm going to dock it just up here. So here's my level editor. Here's my material editor. Right, that'll do it for this step. In the next step, we're just gonna talk about what the different parts of the material editor are for. See you there. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel, then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.